Listen to this. Now, as you can tell, the car actually does sound pretty good, but this car always needed to sound that little bit better. This car is fitted with a 3.4 litre flat six. It should sound incredible. And it's something I've planned on doing to the car since I bought it. So yes, I have gone and finally done it. I finally got an exhaust on the Cayman and I'm super happy with it. This is the first time I've brought the car out on film to show you guys exactly what it sounds like. But what we, what I have fitted to the car is the Top Gear exhaust system. This is a valved system and it's something that I've been eyeing up for a while. It's a lot of people on this channel recommended this exhaust. It's looking a little bit dirty now, but it's probably a bit hot actually to do that. But yeah, it's really shiny. It looks incredible under there. Aside from the sound, one thing I didn't like about this car was the shape of the exhaust. I preferred the two circles that you get on the new cars and on the GT3s. So I knew that I wanted to swap it just for that reason alone but to unlock the further potential in the sound of this car was the main aim of this. And without further waffle from me, let's jump on in, start this thing up and show you what it sounds like. Right, so we'll do a little start up from inside the car. Now it is worth mentioning with this kit, you get a little fob to turn the valves on and off. Now when you start the car up from cold, the valves are open. Not sure why they do that, I'm assuming it's to warm the car up quicker, but it starts up, it's incredibly loud. You get lots of pops and bangs out the exhaust. It's incredibly loud. Once the car's warm, however, and you've got the valve shut, they stay closed and the car will start up perfectly fine with valves shut. So this is a start with the valves closed. As you can tell, it doesn't really sound any different from standard. I mean, it's a little bit louder. You feel it inside the car more than anything, don't really hear it. But, however, use the fob, open the valves. You might have just heard that tone change. And now it sounds proper. It's so much louder than stock, it's insane. And the pitch of it, it's beautiful. I'm super happy with this and I'm super happy with the way the valves work. They're really quick to work and they just make such a difference. So this is essentially how the key fob works. You've got the key fob here, just like a car remote. As you can hear, the car is pretty loud, but not that loud. It's bearable and wouldn't annoy anyone. The tone change is insane. It's got a much deeper burble than what it had before and it's really quick. huge difference. I'm super happy with that. The other thing I want to talk about is what else I've done to the car. I did promise I would bring this car back to life. It started to look a little bit tired on the channel and people were starting to notice. I was getting lots of comments saying it's dirty, it looks very uncared for, like you're not wanting to keep the car. Well, I can assure you I do want to keep the car and it's also been in for some paintwork. So the car is a little bit dirty at the minute but all this damage that was on here before Remember all around here where it, someone crashed into me, this was peeled back, there was a mark there, the alloy wheel was curbed, everything has been redone, this whole side of the car has been resprayed. I had a stone chip on the top of here, that's gone. But yeah, the car, despite it being dirty, because it's now Christmas Eve on filming this video, it looks absolutely incredible. I'm super happy with it. And this exhaust, look at it, listen to that. Oh, it, it, it's just absolutely fabulous. I'm super happy with this. I cannot tell you how happy I am with the way the car looks and the way the car sounds. But anyway, without any further waffle from me, let's jump on in, take this car out for a drive and I'll show you what it sounds like on the open road. I've literally picked the worst day for filming. It's so windy out there, so cold. I'm glad I've got my Porsche branded jumper on. Of course, we've got to start with the valves open. It only makes sense to. But anyway, this is what this car sounds like on the road. And I think you'll agree it's quite dramatically different. 
It really unlocks the potential of that flat six. It's a car that should sound brilliant and doesn't always. Anyway, first acceleration with the new exhaust. Valves wide open. Oof. It's so good. What it makes me do is put this car into manual just so I can hold those revs. It's absolutely phenomenal. The pitch on that, this sounds like a supercar. It sounds exotic. Oh, and you get a little overrun, you get a little burble on the overrun. Come around this hairpin. Second gear. I'll accelerate quite hard up this hill and see what it sounds like up here. It's just unreal, the sound of it. What I'm gonna do now though, is put the car into its quiet mode. And I can show you the difference with the acceleration on that because it's quite different. It's still loud, and it, I must be very clear, it's still louder than a stock system, quite considerably louder than a stock system, but it's a lot more sociable. It's less annoying to people. And there's a lot of people out here walking today because it's Christmas Eve and I don't want to upset anyone. So as I'm coming past these people, we will turn the valves off. And you can immediately hear the tone change of the car. It, it drops down and just makes it a little bit more acceptable. Still gonna drive it in manual because I want to rev it out so you can hear what it sounds like when you really rev it out. But just driving normally, it's super quiet. Keeping the revs, at a normal kind of level, the car sounds quiet, pretty much standard. Drop it down a couple of cogs. So we'll go in second, do a full acceleration. This is with valves closed. It's still loud, but it's just different. The tone of the car is a lot lower. It vibrates a lot less through the car. There's just less noise and it's perfectly livable. Sticking this car back into auto with its valve closed, driving it normally, as you can hear, there's no extra noise. It doesn't sound any different to how it did. And that's what I wanted from the exhaust. I wanted a car that, I wanted an exhaust on this car that wasn't gonna annoy me day to day. Now I've always had exhaust fitted to my cars. I think pretty much every car I've ever owned, and that hasn't been many, I've had an exhaust fitted to them. I've made them loud, but they've always been four cylinders and they've all sounded pretty terrible when I finished. You get that deep booming as you're coming downhill, coming downhill now in this, and I'm getting nothing. You used to get that in the four cylinder cars, something chronic, and they just sound terrible. So getting a car with a proper engine size and a proper layout, it had to be done. I had to get an exhaust on it and I couldn't be happier. I will do a full review on this exhaust in a future video because I want to talk about what it's like to live with because it's all well and good when you first get your nice shiny new exhaust and you're hammering it around and listening to that glorious sound. It's different when it comes to living with it. It's different when it comes to the commute, going places where loud exhausts aren't really acceptable and that's a totally different thing but I'll give that a full review in an upcoming video. So anyway, let's talk about cost. What did this exhaust system cost for me to fit? Well, the exhaust was just under a thousand pounds using a Black Friday deal from Top Gear Exhaust themselves. A really good deal. And fitting it, unfortunately, was quite expensive, over 200 pounds. Because there's wiring, because there's vacuum lines to plug in, it gets a little bit expensive. So overall, I think I spent around 1,250 pounds getting this exhaust fitted. It's not bad. And when you consider the quality of it and the sound, I think it's worth every single penny. I'm super happy with the exhaust. And like I said, I'll do a future video on it and give you a full review on what it's like to live with. But initial thoughts on this exhaust is it's absolutely incredible. 
and uh, I just look forward to the next few weeks just doing this sort of thing and burning fuel. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this very quick video. If you have, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for plenty more videos like this one to come. Thank you so much for watching and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm.